Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jay. So in this video, I'm going to implement Jeff's Spion. It's a BFE dev question. It's number 38. If you did in test before, you must be familiar with Spy. We can create a Spy by just Spion, the object, the method name. And uh, we are going to create something like this. To make it simple, here are two requirements on Spion. Original method should be called when Spy1 is called. Especially have a cause array which holds the all the arguments in each call. So this is an object. There's a increment method. Now we can spy on it, spy on object, uh, specifically for increment method. And then if we call the object increment and with an argument, it will give us, it will be uh, triggered, and yeah, the data will be modified because this data increments with num, so it could becomes two now. And then we increment it again with two, it becomes two four now. And there's a calls array which holds all the arguments like one two, right? Mm -hmm. So this is not difficult. Um, I think we just. Uh, I'm not sure whether the spy on was originally how uh, it was implemented, but. Uh, uh, we could just uh, replace the increment with our own wrapped version, right? We wrap this method with the right at this object and arguments and an extra uh, extra logic to update the calls me method, uh, calls array. Cool, let's do it. So, um, spy on the return, up, or we need to return uh, an object, right? There is a calls in a spy object, so okay. We first return something like calls, right? And the calls we could, could use a closure, so we calls we use array to hold the uh, argument, and then the object object original implementation of the method, say origin. Hello, original origin no origin uh, method it's a uh, object method method name if it is not fun not function it we should throw an error right you cannot spy on something that is not callable so uh, throw new error not function okay then we set set it with a new method okay there's no quotes here we set it with a new function because this function needs to have to write these right so we use a normal function of arrow here okay um we need to call the original method, which is this one. Okay, the R should be here. We could use apply this R, right? Yeah, this is the new method, and we need to return the result. So this is how we replace the method, right? The R. The arguments passing to this new function will be relayed to the original method with the right this. Okay, and then within this method, we need to inject the logic to keep track of the calls. So we push the args. The args is array, so yeah, that's it. It will be right. The first one will be uh, with one, the second one with two. So this is it. I think it should work. Yes, this is it. Cool. I uh, uh, submit it and I posted it here. So if you're interested, please take a look. Hope it helps. It's actually very. Um, I think this is what uh, easy one, right? Yeah. Okay. See you next time. Bye bye.